So I began to wean off the medications to fight for answers, to fight for health care, to get back to my natural state, to see where my health is at when I'm off all medications. And so I'm weaning off the medications. I, I'm in medical crisis weaning off of one of the drugs. And I'm saying, you know, I need, I'm in crisis. I'm struggling. I, I was in absolute medical crisis. My body was under attack with nerve damage, all the symptoms of nerve damage. No, it's not happening. My family doctor was telling me, no, it's not happening. You're delusional. You need a psychiatrist. It's menopause. It's not happening. I was being ripped apart by the drug. I was my, I mean, loss of taste and smell, nerve damage, dropped foot, breathing issues, heart, lungs, fighting to breathe, stopping breathing awake. My autonomic nervous system was shutting down. No, it's not. You're delusional. It's menopause. I needed, I, 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 I needed a micro taper and was trying to force this doctor to provide a micro taper. He was resistant and resistant and resistant. Didn't believe me. My voice, he, he did not believe what was happening. And I was ripped apart, almost killed, nerve damage. My life has never been the same since that. He later, he, he dropped me as a patient or I don't remember. I'd have to check my notes because we were in constant conflict. There was nowhere for me to turn to. There is no patient advocacy. Eventually, I forced him to do a uh, micro taper, but it was too late. The damage was done and the symptoms were mounting and the damage was mounting. And he later, months later, called and apologized, finally said, I finally looked into to what you were trying to tell me. And I see that you, uh, you know, I see that you were right. But there was no one to help me with him at the time. There was no liaison. And, and the next doctor and the next doctor and the next doctor and the next doctor could not figure any of it out and I was correct and they didn't have the knowledge they didn't have the education I was ripped apart and almost killed by two drugs and this will all come to light we refer to it as the benzodiazepine holocaust lots of people have died lots of people have suicided It's happening, but if you're not in 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 the loop, you, you will not know anything about this. You know, struggling to breathe, me going into a surgery, saying to the surgeon, there's something undiagnosed with me. There's something wrong with me and breathing. There's something wrong with me and drugs. And I'm expecting, I am fighting for my voice to be heard. I am begging for my voice to be heard. Nobody hears me. These people are looking right at me. There's no protection. There's no advocacy. There's no liaison. And I stop breathing in their care. I stop breathing and they deny it. I stop breathing in their care. I stop breathing in the recovery. They try to cover that up. And they send me home with a bottle of opioids after I just finished stop, stopping breathing in their care. They send me home with opioids. And there's nowhere for me to turn. I've got, you know, I've got anesthesia coursing through my veins and I'm being sent home with a bottle of opioids. And I just stopped breathing in their care. And I have undiagnosed apnea. And I suffer from respiratory depression and hypoventilation. 
and there's nobody to protect me. And my doctor is shrugging, looking right at me, prescribing and prescribing sleeping pills. And there's nowhere for me to turn. And the powers that be, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Find yourself another doctor. Doctor after doctor. After doctor after doctor. Decades fighting and fighting. There's something wrong when I'm asleep. Nobody, nobody could figure out the sleep apnea, but I figured it out. I had to beg and fight and scream, screaming for my life. Severe sleep apnea, fighting for my life. Had to force them, beg them, screamed. Finally, finally got diagnosed with sleep apnea and and the doctor tried to downgrade the severity of it. There are, there are, you know, um, diagnostic guidelines. I have severe apnea. He tried to downgrade that. I don't understand. I don't understand why I have to be the bad guy and I have to take the blame. I don't understand. I was sleepwalking and sleep eating for decades. I was sleepwalking throughout the house. It got to the point where it got so severe that I was waking up outside in the snow, barefoot in the snow. I was sleep eating, ripping the part, ripping the kitchen apart during the night, choking on food, waking up with food in my hair, waking up with food in my mouth. Literally, literally tortured. Nobody could figure it out. One doctor diagnosed me with sleep-related eating disorder, a rare sleep disorder. That doctor now denies making that, dis making that diagnosis. Nobody could figure it out. I figured it out after decades of torture. It was a side effect from the Zappa clone. And nobody could figure it out. And all these doctors have the information at their fingertips. And they want to deny that that happened. I was tortured. I have a brain condition. Now I'm fighting for my life with the brain condition. I want to know why there's no advocacy. And I want to know why my voice is never being heard. Why there's nowhere for me to run to for help. 